So for the Lewis structure for CaCl2, calcium chloride, first we'll look at the periodic table and find calcium. Calcium is in group 2, or 2A. That means it's a metal. It also means it has two valence electrons. For chlorine, that's over in 17, or 7A. It has seven valence electrons, and it's a nonmetal. When we have a nonmetal and a metal, we have an ionic compound. For ionic compounds, we're going to transfer electrons when they form their chemical bonds. So we have the calcium in the center. It has two valence electrons. And then on either side, we have a chlorine atom. Each one of those has seven valence electrons. The calcium is going to take and transfer one of its electrons to one of the chlorine atoms. When it does that, it's lost an electron. It's lost a negative charge. It has a positive one charge. The chlorine's gained a negative charge. It's gained an electron. It's negative. The calcium then transfers the other valence electron to the chlorine. It now has a negative on the chlorine, and the calcium has a plus two charge. So at this point, the calcium has lost its valence electrons, and each chlorine now has eight valence electrons. It has an octet. So by transferring those electrons, the chlorines have achieved an octet. But what about the calcium? Does it have an octet? So let's take a look at that. So here we have in the center calcium. This is a Bohr diagram. It's a simple way to show the electron arrangement around an atom. And then we have our two chlorine atoms. So we're going to lose the outer shell valence electrons on the calcium. They're going to be transferred to the chlorines. So we transfer one here to the chlorine, and we have a positive charge on the calcium. The chlorine has a negative charge. And then we transfer the other outer shell valence electron to the chlorine to complete its octet. We now lose that whole outer shell there. It went away. So let's take a look at that again. When we transfer that last valence electron in the outer shell, it goes to the chlorine, and that outer shell goes away. And now the chlorine will have a negative charge, and the calcium in the center, it has a plus two, since it lost two valence electrons. But when you look at it, its outer shell is full. So when it lost those two valence electrons, the layer underneath it has eight. It has an octet. So by transferring electrons, the chlorines have octets, and the calcium also has octets. And we can write that like this. So we put brackets around the negatives, and they have their octets, and then we have the calcium in the center. So that's the Lewis structure for CaCl2 calcium chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.